to face lockdown, military siege, arbitrary detentions, and unprecedented restrictions. Operating under draconian laws, with complete impunity, Indian occupation forces are committing unspeakable atrocities to silence the voice of the Kashmiris and break their will to resist the occupation. Under a suffocating military siege and in the face of a ravaging COVID-19 pandemic, the Indian Army has continued cordon and search operations, put down protests violently, continued to use uh, pellet guns and torture, imprisoned Kashmiri political leaders, abducted children and women, staged fake encounters, and indulged in a killing spree of Kashmiri youth in the Indian occupied Kashmir. Following the extremist Hindutva ideology, the RSS BJP regime has also embarked on a design to change the demographic structure of the occupied territory and obliterate the distinct identity of the Kashmiri people. To further its plans, over 4.2 million fake certificates have been issued already under the so-called Jammu and Kashmir Grant of Domicile Certificate Rules 2020. This is what the Indian leadership itself ominously calls a final solution uh, for the Jammu and Kashmir dispute. Excellency is the most recent example of Indian barbarity was the treatment of the mortal remains of the great Kashmiri leader, Sayyid Ali Shah Gilani, who passed away on the 1st of September 2021 after prolonged illegal Indian detention and house arrest. Sayyid Gilani was incarcerated for 50 years but never wavered from his demand for Kashmir's freedom. Despite his advancing age and failing health, he was not allowed to seek medical treatment abroad. Even as his family mourned his loss and prepared for his funeral, a heavy contingent of India's occupation forces entered their home and over the protests of her family members forcibly snatched Sayyid Gilani's body, denied him the last rites of a Muslim funeral and buried him in a nondescript place rather than the cemetery of martyrs as desired by Sayyid Gilani before his death. It was not enough. Gilani's family members were later charged for draping his body in the Pakistani flag as he had wished. The government of India was so afraid of Sayyid Gilani and what he stood for that they resorted to this inhumane act even after his passing away. This clearly shows that India would trample all civil and human values to perpetuate its brutal occupation of the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Excellencies, to sustain the focus of the international community on Indian transgressions and to hold India accountable, the government of Pakistan has recently released a comprehensive and well-researched dossier containing the entire range of cross, systematic and widespread violations of human rights perpetrated by Indian forces in the Indian occupied Kashmir. 131 page dossier covers accounts of 3,432 cases of war crimes perpetrated by senior officers of the Indian occupation forces. The crimes catalogued in the dossier are corroborated by audio and video evidence that we have meticulously gathered over time. I will take this opportunity to request the Secretary General of the OIC to circulate the dossier among all members of the OIC and have it widely disseminated. Excellencies, there will be no peace in South Asia until the just and equitable resolution 
of the Jammu and Kashmir dispute in accordance with the resolutions of the Security Council and wishes of the Kashmiri people. Last February, we accepted revival of the 2003 ceasefire understanding along the line of control in Jammu and Kashmir. We expected that India would take positive steps to enable resumption of engagement for resolution of the dispute. Instead, India intensified its repression. Pakistan is prepared to engage with India for a resolution of the Jammu and Kashmir dispute. However, the onus is on India to create a conducive environment. It must reverse its unilateral and illegal measures instituted since 5th of August 2019, stop its human rights violations in Indian occupied Kashmir, halt and reverse the demographic changes in the occupied state. Excellencies, the Jammu and Kashmir dispute with Palestine is one of the two longest standing items on the UN and OIC agenda. Pakistan greatly appreciates the OIC's continued and unequivocal support on the Jammu and Kashmir uh, dispute. The organization has been at the forefront of efforts to support the just and legitimate struggle of the people of uh, the illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir for their inalienable right to self-determination as reflected by the decisions and resolutions of the Islamic summits and Council of Foreign Minister sessions and the statements issued by the General Secretariat and the uh, Independent Permanent Human Rights Commission. The OIC's contract group has made invaluable contribution in galvanizing global attention to the worsening situation in uh, the Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir. In view of the grave situation, it is imperative that the OIC enhances its efforts to facilitate a lasting solution to the Jammu and Kashmir dispute. The oppressed people of Kashmir now, more than ever, count on OIC and the Muslim Ummah. I also request Your Excellency's active support in raising the issue at relevant UN forums, including the General Assembly and the Human Rights Council, and I would like to thank the President of Turkey for doing so in his statement. Before concluding my remarks, I once again thank you for your participation today. I also look forward to hosting you all for the upcoming Council of Foreign Ministers session in Islamabad next year. I thank you. Thank you, وزری خارجہ شاہ محمود قریشی و آئی سی کے رابطہ گروپ رائے کشمیر میں خطاب کرے تھے اجلاس نیو یارک میں منعقد ہوا وزری خارجہ شاہ محمود قریشی کا یہ کہنا ہے کہ بھارتی غاصب بفاج مقبوضہ کشمیر میں انسانیت سوز مظالم ڈھا رہی ہیں کرونا وبا کے باوجود غاصب بھارتی افاج ہندوتوا پالیسی پر عمل پیرا ہیں انہوں نے بابا حریت سید علی گرانی کو خراج عقیدت بھی پیش کیا جبکہ اس کے ساتھ ساتھ ان کا یہ بھی کہنا تھا کہ مقبوضہ کشمیر کی آبادی کا تناسب تبدیل کرنے کے لیے بھارت کی جانب سے 42 لاکھ غیر قانونی اور جالی ڈومیسائل جاری کیا گئے السلام علیکم ناظرین آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں پاکستان ٹیلی ویژن نیوز کے اپنے ٹاور کے ساتھ میں ہوں رسوان علی احمد میں ہوں نازیا خان ناظرین ڈاول پنی اسلام آباد میں آزان مغرب کا وقت ہوا چاہتا ہے آئیے سننے کی سہارت حاصل کرتے ہیں